Hi everyone, Stepan here. Uh, my league game just finished. I just came home and I have to say I'm very tired. My head feels like it's about to explode. Uh, it was a very complicated game. Uh, so I ended up playing somebody totally different. I prepared for one possible opponent for 10 days and uh, he didn't play this round for their team. So I faced an opponent I didn't prepare for at all. But I remember him because uh, I played one game against him and it was when I started playing chess, it was in 2016 uh, and I remember vaguely that he plays the Karo Khan, so when he played e4 I was a bit anxious to play the Karo Khan, but that's basically the, the, the only opening I know very well and I didn't want to deviate and choose something I don't know. I'm going to run an engine analysis at the end of the video uh, just to see where I went wrong, I didn't have a look at the game yet and uh, there were some points during which I, I thought I, I, I went wrong and I could have played better. So, okay, uh, I played c6 and he played d3, kind of surprisingly. Perhaps he knows that I played the Karo Khan, so he wanted to surprise me with the Brayer. But I think I managed to surprise him out of the opening. Uh, after d3, d5 is the main move, knight to d2 is the Brayer, e5 is the only move black can play, and now knight g to f3. And the normal way to play is bishop to d6, uh, d4, uh, e takes d4, bishop to d3 uh, is the best move, knight to e7. And I played this uh, in the Zadar Open in December, but after the movie 5, knight g to f3, I was preparing something in the Brer uh, about a month ago, so I decided to try it out. I don't think he was prepared for this move, I played bishop to g4. Uh, uh, willingly giving up giving up my bishop because in the Brayer structure the light squared bishop he has on f1 isn't such an active piece and he went for that h3 bishop takes f3 queen takes f3 uh, he has to take with the queen uh, if he takes with the knight then if he takes with the knight then I get to exchange the queens and I have a better position so here black is slightly better but uh, nothing major so after h3 bishop takes f3 he took with the queen which is correct and now I play knight to f6 reinforcing my center if he ever takes I'm going to take with the c pawn if he doesn't take I always have the option of playing uh, d5 when the knight reroutes because if the knight doesn't have c4 then I'm sorry d4 if the knight doesn't have c4 then d4 is a good move I can also play d4 b5 restraining the knight some more and basically play against this bishop so this is the idea behind bishop g4 uh, here he surprised me a bit with g4 and this move is preparing to fianchetto the bishop and castle king side uh, but still I, I don't really want to allow g5 uh, I, perhaps I had better moves here but I played h6 just in case we'll see bishop g2 and now knight to c or oh, I'm sorry bishop to c5 developing my bishop to the most active diagonal now f2 is going to be under pressure throughout the game and here uh, I thought I was slightly worse as in every opening uh, and basically the position is almost equal. Uh, so I always have the option of taking here but if the knight moves uh, because then I get to lock in the bishop and here he played knight to f1 which is a very logical move going into g3 and f5. A great maneuver but now uh, I exchange d takes e4, d takes e4 and now his bishop is locked in. I actually was considering uh, some other options here like playing knight to d7 uh, where my d5 pawn isn't hanging he can't take but I wanted to to take here uh, before he plays knight g3 because then he can recapture with the knight I didn't want to allow that so knight f1 d4 d4 this might not have been a good decision but it seemed very active I don't really have queen to d4 uh, he can't play bishop here because I take and he can't take my bishop because I take the rook with check but after queen d4 he can simply play knight to g3 the pawn is defended and I don't have anything the, the queen is a bad piece here he's going to play c3 and chase it away so queen d4 wasn't a logical move there might have been if he doesn't play knight g3 if he plays I don't know something stupid like bishop to d uh, to d2 then I can take uh, here and threaten to take here even though it's a peace sacrifice which isn't really that clear uh, but I think I would have gone for that but anyway queen to d4 wasn't really such a strong threat so after d takes c4 I played knight b to d7 after knight b to d7 he did play knight g3 now we had a long thing um, obviously allowing knight f5 is 
is a bad idea. Uh, if I allow knight f5 and try g6 after that, then my h6 pawn is hanging. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I really didn't want to allow it, and I played g6, which is a concession, because now I can never castle kingside. My h pawn is hanging, so with g6 I basically told him that I'm going to castle queenside and that I have no other options. Uh, castles here, I played queen to e7, which is a flexible move, uh, preparing to castle, defending e5, defending the bishop on c5. Here he played c3, and I mean, he, he's going to play b4 and chase my bishop away if I castle and have three pawns attacking me. But uh, I wasn't sure whether I should be too afraid of that. And I couldn't really see what else I can do. I can't castle kingside, that much is clear. Uh, I don't know, I think the position is equal here, and one thing I was considering was h5, and then uh, g5, knight to h7, and when he does something I'm going to read out my knight to e6. This I thought was a great square and a great plan. But, uh, yeah, and I, I'm not sure what he plays here, let's say he develops the bishop, even though that might not be a good idea. Let's say just h4 preventing h4. Knight f8. Uh, the knight now has no future, so perhaps a plan with knight d2, c4, knight c3 is a good idea. And now knight to e6, now I can castle kingside and my position is safe. I'm preventing f5. So this was one plan, but it seemed very slow. Uh, I don't know, after c3, h5 was one idea. The other idea I had was a5. Uh, simply stopping b4, but now I'm I'm never going to castle, and after a5, I think rook d1 is a good move, and now h5, g5, knight h7, and the same plan, h4, knight f8. Perhaps bishop h3, but now knight e6 anyway. And here I, I thought white was slightly better, I didn't really see what I can do to, to, to cause him any harm. So after c3, uh, I decided to go for it and castle queenside, and I forgot to mention my, my opponent is around 200 points higher rated than I am, so his peak rating was 2200, uh, and let me just check. His peak rating was 2200 in 1998, and he was born in 1979, so age 40. So anyway, after c3 I castled. Uh, and he played b4, which I expected. Uh, I couldn't really decide between bishop d6 and bishop b6. I, I saw that my, my bishop was going to end up on c7 anyway, but for some reason I didn't play bishop d6, which now seems like a much better move, because after a5 I'm going to play bishop c7 anyway, so I might as well keep my bishop on d6 and play bishop c7 if I want to. But I played bishop b6, a4, knight f8, and now before knight f8, uh, I saw one plan, <clears throat> and that plan was knight f8, knight e6, knight d4, and I thought he wouldn't have an attack unless he plays c4, and uh, I misjudged the position because I thought c4 is really hard to play, because queen takes b4, and it's not that clear, it's, it's not as if the b7 pawn is that weak, and I, I think I would have taken the pawn, but what I forgot was that after I moved my knight to f8, uh, c4 can be played because the knight on f6 is unprotected. So after knight f8, a5, bishop c7, he played bishop e3, first attacking my pawn. King to b8 would, I think, be suicide, uh, so a6 stopping his threats. And now, this is what I thought, I mean, it, it's hard to play c4 if the knight is defended, but now the knight is not defended, so c4 is a strong threat. And I didn't think he was winning here, I thought I could defend this position. I thought he was just slightly better, uh, but... Okay, we will see. Knight e6, b5 as expected, and now knight to d4. Um, if not knight to d4, after b5 I can also play knight to d7. This is what I was considering. And after b a6, b a6, I couldn't really find the move for him, for him, so I thought queen to e2 was a good move, threatening c5 and taking on a6. And now knight to c5. Either knight really, but knight d makes more sense. And now that the knight is defending b7, the bishop is defending b8 and b6, I couldn't see a problem, and I'm basically playing against the bad uh, bishop throughout the whole game, so I thought I would be better here. But I couldn't really see if there were any other options after knight to d7. I 
I was afraid of a lot of things. So after b5, I played knight to d4, exchanging this strong bishop, and bishop takes d4 has to be played. Rook takes d4, ba6, ba6, rook f to b1 was played. And now I went for knight c5 anyway, because I saw that knight d7, knight c5 defends everything, so knight d7. Uh, he played knight to e2, uh, interrupting my plan for a while, but... Uh, he can't really stop my plan, I played rook d6, and he played queen to e3, trying to infiltrate a7, but I play knight to c5 anyway. And after knight to c5, he can't really take the knight, if he takes, then check, winning the queen. So after knight c5, I was happy, and I thought I had to be better here, because even though he has an attack, it's not leading anywhere, and I'm still playing against, against the bad bishop on g2. So I, I thought I had a great position here, and he thought for about 20 minutes and played what I thought was the losing move. Uh, I thought bishop, uh, I'm sorry, knight to c1 uh, was a good move here. Knight c1 simply challenging my uh, my knight on c5. If he manages to remove my knight from c5, then then great. I mean, he, he's going to infiltrate and he's going to have checks on b7. But instead of that, after knight c5, he played knight c3, uh, which I, I think is much worse for for black for white, because now I get to play rook to d3, queen to c1, he has to keep the defense of the knight. And now uh, I was at a crossroads uh, in my thinking, and I had the correct plan, uh, and I'm sure this would have been much better for me. So basically, w what he wants to do, uh, he wants to exchange my knight, that much is clear. Uh, but he can't uh, move the knight if I play rook to d8, so this was my idea. If I play rook h to d8, he can't move the knight because then I get the queen for two rooks and I'm still playing against the bad piece. So that was my idea, I played rook h to d8, but I, I saw something that could have been an intermezzo move, uh, which he has to react to, which I ended up not playing, but I think if I played h5, Firstly, he is forced to play g5. Okay, so now I have a target. And now if I play rook h to d8, he can't play what he played in the game. Uh, in the game, after rook h to d8, he played queen to a3, coming into, into b4, which isn't really a strong threat, but it's pinning my knight to the queen, and I can't move the knight because of queen b7, and a lot of complications. But in the variation after h5, g5, rook h to d8, uh, queen to a3... Uh, I think cannot be played because I can take here, takes, takes, and I'm just better here. I'm not sure I'm going to take with an, uh, check with an engine, but I don't have to take uh, the pawn anyway, queen a3, I can just play king to d7, which is what I was calculating uh, when I was walking back home. So if I play king d7 here, he doesn't have anything. I'm playing against the bad piece. King d7, let's say he plays rook to d1. Uh, king to e8, just, just nothing, I mean, he, he, he doesn't have an attack. After king to d7, if he plays bishop f1, then I'm not sure. Maybe I can even give up the exchange because my attack is too strong. I think I would have given up the exchange. Rook to d4 seems weird uh, because he gets to play knight a4 and I have to play bishop to d6, but it's also playable probably. But giving up the exchange seems fine. Because now, what does he do? h3 is hanging, uh, this pawn is hanging, uh, knight takes e4 is hanging. Whatever he does, he's losing something, and I think the exchange is very much worth it. So h5 was definitely a plan. This intermezzo of h5, g5 uh, would have created another target and some more weaknesses. But anyway, after rook h to d8, he played queen a3, and now I had my longest think of the game, and I spent, I was, uh, I had 45 minutes here, he had 20 because he thought for 20 minutes before knight c3, which was a mistake, I think. And here I spent 20 minutes. So I have one problem. The problem is that uh, my queen is my knight is pinned to the queen. If I try to uh, uh, triple up on the d-file, he can simply play rook to d1, so that doesn't work. I don't have any discoveries with the knight. So I was considering bishop to d6, but I uh, wasn't really happy about that move. I don't really want to weaken these squares, and I thought he would have uh, perhaps even this, just coming in into this square. I'm not sure though, but bishop to d6 was one option. Uh, another option was 
<clears throat> simply playing h5 now, and if he plays g5, I can't sacrifice, but still creating this weakness. King to d7 now, and we go back to the to the same variation. But after queen to a3, I, I played a very passive move. I played queen to f8, and after queen to f8, I think I, I lost my advantage, and that white is now stronger because I no longer have threats of queen h4, queen g5, queen f6, uh, and my position isn't that active anymore. He played queen b4 here, which I didn't expect. I, I think this was a strange move. I would have played knight to a4 if I were him. Knight a4, knight takes, queen takes, and... I mean, I'm playing against the bad bishop, but he has bishop f1, and he he can double up here and cause a lot of issues. If he manages to take on a6, then his a5 pawn is very strong. But queen b4, and now I played the losing move, basically. Uh, I had another big thing, and... Uh, <clears throat> The move I played is just bad. Uh, perhaps once again king d7 was much better. Uh, I think king d7 was always an option which I for some reason didn't play. Let's say knight to a4, knight takes a4. Uh, I think rook takes a4 is better, but he probably wouldn't want to exchange the queen, so queen takes a4. And now I can simply play queen to c5, threatening rook d2. Uh, Let's say queen b4 trying to exchange, which is the best move. If he doesn't do that, let's say bishop here, then I can play here and the game is just winning. So I think he has to challenge my queen. Uh, so takes, takes, and now I have a very dominant position. I really couldn't see what he does here. My bishop is so much better than his that he has no chance. But after queen to b4, I played a very bad move. I played rook to d2. After rook to d2, uh, he obviously has discovered the text against my rook uh, with his knight, so when he moves the knight, my rook is attacked. But what I was calculating, and I thought my calculation was correct, uh, was that if... Okay, firstly, there are no good moves unless he plays knight to, to d5, in my opinion. Uh, so knight to d5, uh, attacking my rook, I can't really uh, move my rook because knight to b6 check is devastating and I couldn't survive that. So I have to take, and my calculation was, okay, I take on d5, he takes here, I take here. Uh, queen to b4 probably. And now I was looking at the move knight to b3. After knight to b3 I was expecting uh, queen takes uh, f8, rook takes f8 rook somewhere, and now I'm going to take here. And I didn't know what descending was like, I thought I was slightly worse, but I have two pawns for the exchange, and I'm going to have a passed pawn for the exchange anyway, once he plays this. Uh, let's say rook here, takes, 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 and... I mean, it's, it's not a very active position, it's not a very good passed pawn, so I might be losing, but that's what I was calculating. But anyway, after queen to b4, uh, I'm sorry, after knight to d5, uh, I did. Uh, he did play knight to d5, and I did take. Uh, there are no tricks with this. Uh, he obviously can't take with the king because I win the queen. But as I said, he can play this check, and this seemed very bad. Uh, I wasn't really sure if I can survive this position, and I think I couldn't. I think I'm forced to take here. King takes. I have this check. Uh, let's get away from all the checks here, and here stopping the check but I don't think I have much maybe I have a perpetual check or something I'm going to check with an engine so rook takes f2 does he have anything better than knight b6 I'm wondering yeah he can just take the bishop yeah that was another problem takes and once again I'm forced to take here if I take the knight, then I think I'm getting checkmated. Perhaps not, but still it's it's not pleasant. I didn't want to allow this position to happen. Here. I have to go here. Yeah, maybe maybe it was playable. Look if two knight takes here. I thought I was forced to take here. Now takes uh, check. 
Oh yeah, wait. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. Rook takes f2. Knight takes here. Takes. Check. Check. And he has this check. That was the point. Okay. Yeah, but the knight is defended. Oh, he can just take here. Yeah. Okay. So either my knight is hanging or or my rook is hanging. So rook takes f2 wasn't really an option. So after rook to d2, uh, knight to d5, I took cd5, queen, ta uh, queen takes d2, and now I have the option of taking both pawns or pushing my pawn. And I really couldn't see what was better. I saw that if I play uh, uh, d takes e, then I'm going to save a pawn. But I didn't really want to open up this, posi this uh, position for the bishop. So I ended up taking here, which I think is much worse. So my calculation here, okay, let's say I take here. It takes the queen. Uh, queen here. Uh, I can play rook to d4. And I'm not sure what he does. I think this was much more solid and I think it would have been very hard for him to break open this position, even though I'm in exchange down. Because as I said, even bishop f1 now doesn't really do anything. So... I think taking on e, on e was much more precise. Uh, whatever he does, I'm going to play f5, try to open up the position, make some threats. But uh, as I said, I took on c4 and now queen b4. Uh, I went for this variation with knight b3, which was bad because he has a better move. He doesn't have to take the queen. Uh, he took on c4. And now I'm faced with a terrible attack. Uh, I mean, I, I have to take the exchange, otherwise... Uh, I. I'm just lost, so knight a1, queen a6 check, king d7, queen b5 check, king e7, uh, rook takes a1, I played bishop d6, this position is now just lost, uh, I, I had no chance, he played a6, rook a8, queen b7 check, king f6, a7, and here I, I played the worst move in the position, I was afraid of f4 and opening up this bishop, so I played g5, which ended up, uh, I mean, costing me the game, a uh, much better try, I think, was bishop c5, uh, and let's say he, bishop f1. I, st I mean, it's still losing, but uh, bishop here, bishop here, king here. Uh, I'm not sure how he makes progress, because once he moves the rook, I'm going to take here. Uh, I can't move my queen anymore, obviously, but still. I'm not sure what the move was for him here. Maybe, uh, yeah, bishop bishop d5 has to be played, and now he's threatening to take. Uh, yeah. it's It was losing anyway, but after g5, bishop f1, uh, bishop c5, bishop c4, bishop d4, rook a6 check, king g7, bishop d5. I had one last trick, I took an f2 with check. If he takes, I think I have a perpetual, but he didn't take, and... The position is just lost. He played king to g2, bishop e3, and queen c6 was played. Now I can't defend everything. I have no moves. Um, queen takes h6, h6 is checkmate. Uh, if I allow this check, uh, then my pawn is pinned if I go to g8, so queen g6 check anyway. So this was a lost position. I actually ended up blundering. I played rook takes here and allowed, I, I allowed a checkmate. So yeah, uh, but after bishop takes f2, if he takes, I, I think I would have had a perpetual check. I mean, he, he can't escape anywhere. So let's check the game with the engine. <coughs> e4, c6, d3, d5, knight, d2, e5, knight, gf3. As I said, bishop to d6 is the main move, uh, but bishop g4 is playable, h3. Bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, and as you can see, black is equal here with knight f6. Uh, g4 I wasn't expecting. Uh, I don't really know about this move. The engine wants to play g3. g4 and yeah, I, I was thinking about knight a6, knight, knight b4, but I thought he could defend that. e5, uh, d, d4 was a move uh, always trying to hem in the bishop, but I played h6 slightly better. Bishop g2, bishop c5. Knight f1, the engine doesn't like. And yeah, knight b to d7 was the move here, but I played d4. Why is this so much worse? Takes? Knight here? I really don't know why this is so much better for white. Okay, 
knight f1, knight b to d7, knight to g3. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, okay. You can play knight e6 defending, but this is... Yeah, this this is a better position, but I didn't see all this. So knight f1, d4, d4, knight bd7, knight g3, g6, castles, uh, queen to e7, h5 immediately. Yeah, apparently this plan did work with routing the knight. But queen to e7, he played c3. Now I was... Uh, I wanted to play a5 or h5 or castles. a5 according to the engine is equal. <coughs> Let's see about h5 here. Knight h7 was my plan. Close down the position. It's equal, yeah. Here. I don't have time for this. Okay. I can castle. Yeah, no, castle. The engine is confused, it seems. But yeah, this was much safer. But after c3 ended up castling, I wanted a fighting game. b4, yeah, bishop d6 was better, of course. Bishop b6, a4, knight f8, a5, bishop c7, bishop e3, a6 was correct. c4, knight e6, b5. Yeah, knight e7 was better than knight d4, apparently. My calculation was knight d7, takes, takes. Knight f5? I didn't see knight f5. What happens if I take? Takes? What? Can I play knight c5? I don't understand this. Oh yeah, he's going to check me <laughs> on eight. Okay. Oh, this was a complicated line. So after b5, knight d7 was a plan, uh, but now knight d4. Bishop takes, rook takes. Better for white. B a6, b a6. Rook fb1, but not much better. Knight d7. And I thought about him chasing my rook away, because I can never take on c4. He has queen b4. Uh, so yeah, this was probably the best plan. But he played knight to the uh, after knight to d seven. Okay, knight to e two. Yeah. Okay, rook d six, queen to e three. Now after knight c five, yeah, knight c one was better. I think knight c three was losing. Yeah. Okay. So this is minus one and a half for black after rook d three, which I did play. And now let's see if after queen c1, h5. Yeah. Uh, so my calculation was h5, g5, rook h to d8. And this is minus 2 almost. And after queen c1, rook h to d8, minus 1 still. Okay, queen a3. And now, yeah, uh, queen d7 was the plan I, I wanted to play. Bishop f1 and giving up the exchange. This is exactly what I was looking at. This is minus 3. Okay, but after uh, queen c1, rook hd8, queen a3, I played queen f8, which I think is a bad move. Bishop d6, I don't think works. Queen here. I'm not sure what I do here. Yeah, the bishop d6 is equal. I can repeat or play king to d7. Uh, let's see after queen a3, h5. Bishop f1 takes here. Yeah, it seems that I can give up the exchange and it won't really matter. Minus 2 if I give up the exchange. So my move queen f8 was just bad. A passive move and this is where I lost the game. After queen a3 I was still much better. Queen f8, queen b4, a mistake. Now once again king d7 is a plan, but I played this horrible rook to d2. He did play knight d5, takes, takes. And now, yeah, taking on e uh, is equal. Taking on c4 is plus 3. Ugh. So this was my biggest mistake. 
Queen of eight, I'm not taking on on e4. Let's see this variation. So this was correct. I calculated this. His best move is h4. That's ridiculous. Queen. Okay, here. Takes, takes. He can't infiltrate the position. That's funny. And he's playing a bishop down. I mean, I am better, but not not anything major. But after queen d2, d c4, queen b4. Yeah. Knight b3 was a mistake because of queen takes c4. And let's just see if my variation with queen takes f8 was viable. Rook takes, rook here. Yeah, perhaps not taking the pawn, but here. Here. Yeah, it's still losing. So anyway, uh, a tough game. I, I played for more than four hours and I'm sorry I didn't win, but I, I ended up facing a guy I didn't prepare for at all. And what's worse, he plays the Karo Khan, so that's always tough to face somebody who plays the opening you play. But I think it was a very instructive game. Uh, obviously, casting queenside was a mistake. I should have used h5 earlier. And king d7 was a plan which I, I saw, but I didn't want to play it for some reason. What can you do? Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the game. Let me know what you think. And stay tuned for more chess. See you later. Bye-bye.